is my review of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay, so it's been a while, and, and, the, and the main reason I'm kind of reviewing this now is because, well, uh, apparently... Uh, sales of work ended a little bit earlier than I thought, so we're back to this today. Yay! But, in any case, um, in the last episode, since it's been a while, um, Yoshikage Kira actually disguised himself as a, as another random man and disappeared in the crowd, and now the Joestar group has no way of actually knowing where he is. So, first and foremost, they decide the best place to actually look would be his house. So, Natural, naturally, Jotaro, Jotaro, Josuke, Okuyasu, and Koichi all go there to go investigate and see if anything odd stands out that they can find find out about um Yo, about Yoshikage Kira in his life and try and figure out, pinpoint a weird hobby or something that they can find to actually pin, pin Ko, Yoshikage Kira down so they can actually find him and defeat him. Um, and they and they don't initially find anything. Um, jo, Jotaro finds an old photo album. Um, regarding um, Yoshi, regarding Yoshikage Kira's life, and begins and begins to give a recollection of how Yoshikage Kira actually lived. And as it turned out, uh, Yoshikage Kira very was very deliberately boring. Um, so he so as they note as they note from the several trophies kept in his house, which are all third place trophies, as well as all as well as all the different photo albums that. Yoshikage Kira deliberately tried to make sure that he didn't stand out as much as he could so that he could blend in the background and kind of hide his murderous tendencies. And we also learned that he actually that he actually lived by himself because he, for a while because his parents were of an advanced age. His father Yoshihiro Kira actually died at some point at some point in the past and his mo and his mother died shortly after. So Yoshihiro Kira, Yoshikage Kira has been alone by himself for a, a while, but um in any case, jo Josuke begin decides that they can't keep can't give up because they do need to find something in order to track down y Kira. S and eventually, he comes across a dr a drawer full of labeled bottles with something odd in them that Josuke that Josuke isn't immediately able to pl able to place. But after Jotaro spies a nail clipper in the drawer alongside all the different jars, um, jo Jotaro concludes that they're actually toenail that they're actually toenail and fingernail clippings and. Uh, Upon realizing this, Joseph actually drops the drops them after realizing what he's holding in his hand, and and is a meal and rightfully so because he believes they're actually from his from Kira's many victims. But Joshua actually concludes that they're actually his own, um, and also points out that uh, Kira apparently kept a very detailed log of every time he's tri trimmed his fingernails. Um, and and Jotaro even points out that it's very akin to fortune telling that when his fingernails grew long it was a sign it was a sign that Kira would likely go and kill go and kill again which is why he analogued them so cle so clearly and carefully by date um and Josuke and Josuke can't help but point out how weird that is pointing out that it's cl it's that it's likely that if he if his fingernails grow long enough he'll he'll eventually he'll eventually realize that he needs to go kill again and pro likely will so and with that, they resolve that they need to that they need to find him quickly before he hurts somebody. Um, unfortunately, they don't have much time to do it because right at that second, a camera suddenly snaps their picture, almost like a stand ability, and then prints a prints a photograph. At which point, they realize they discover the a the spirit of Yoshihiro Kira inside the photograph, and immediately begin panicking because they realize that he that he's likely in the room with them, and they have no idea of how to actually see him. Um, at which point they hear the phone ringing, and they and they and they decide to ignore it. But then Yoshihiro Kira calls out to them from the photograph from the photograph, and then shut and then shucks the um, cell phone receiver at jo Josuke's face, um, and it breaks after after hitting his face and then hitting the ground. Um, at which point jo Yoshihiro Kira introduces himself and reveals his stand um, that apparently at some point in the past. So at some point in the past, before he died, he developed a stand called Adam Heartfather, which, and which Jotaro concludes enables him to manipulate things from within the photograph. Um, as it turns, as it turns out, he see they see that Yoshihiro Kira has moved within the photograph and has actually picked up the phone receiver to call th to call them through, um, and also is likely the one responsible for chucking it at at um Josuke's face. Um, at which point they realize that they need to get that they need to find a way out of the. To, to destroy the photograph before Yoshihiro Kira can mess with him again. 
So Josuke immediately begins ripping ripping it to shreds, only this doesn't work. As it turns out, every time everywhere he tore the photograph has ca caused um ca caused er both Jotaro and Josuke to split apart and become and fragment. And Jotaro quickly realizes that their fault that they're going to basically die and fall and fall to pieces if they don't put the photograph back together. So jo Josuke uses cra uses Crazy Diamond to, he to heal it back to back to its original form. At which point, at which point he calls out to Okiyasu, and he and Koichi run into run in, and and he tells Okiyasu that it's time to use the hand to smear out to smear out Yoshihiro Kiro so that he can't actually affect them in, from the photograph anymore. And and Okiyasu is more than happy to help. He rushes in and then teleports to the other side of the room and crashes into the window. So at which point, at which point, um, Koichi begins to begins to run a test of his own and discovers that his hands just kind of. Pass through the space where you where um jo Jessica and Jotaro should be, and that it actually does not, and that he's actually unable to actually reach in physically into the room. Anytime he collides with the boundaries in the room, he goes his f fingers go right through. Um, at which point Yoshihiro Kira re reveals that they've actually finally figured out how his stand works, and that apparently how Yoshihiro Kira's stand works is that anything within the boundaries of the photograph become part of the photograph. So basically, so basically it literally traps them in, in their photographs and they're unable to actually do anything to stop it. Um, at which point Yoshihiro Kiro gloats that they'll never be able to defeat his stand because he, as he points out, it's invincible. Um, and then pulls, and then pulls out a knife and cuts off Jos Jotaro and Josuke's head inside the photograph. Um, and Jotaro and Josuke quickly realize that they need to stop, that they need to stop, um, jo that Yoshihiro before he does something else that to hurt them. Um, and, but Jotaro kind of revolt, revolt, resigns to giving up, um, pointing out that when, th that when things seem impossible, he gives up, pointing out that even if he uses crazy, even if he uses Star Platinum to basically pause time, he's, they're not going to be able to avoid the attack because it's eventually going to kill them anyway. Um, and sure enough, when jo when the night, when the attack actually happens, um, it goes straight for, jo for Josuke's face and he's unable to actually defend against, to defend against it because his attacks go right through it. Um, at which point, jo at which point, Jotaro reveals that he's actually not giving up on actually stopping Yoshihiro Kira, but either, but rather that he's going to take a different approach to it. And case in point, uses the camera to actually tra to to actually trap Yoshihiro Kira in a in a photograph of his own, so that he's alone by himself and therefore can't influence anybody else. Um, and this works. The knife actually stops it stops going straight for jo Josuke's face, and he's able to swallow it out of the sky finally. Um, at which at which point, um, Josuke, real, Josuke and Jotaro realize that they need to stop Yoshi, Yoshihiro Kiro from interfering, and realize that they need that they need to keep him trapped in the photograph while they search the house. So, and with that, and after realizing that he can actually escape from the boundaries of the photo, um, Jotaro uses uses duct tape and uses duct tape and attack to not only fold the not only does he fold the photo in half to keep Yoshihiro Kiro pinned. Um, and unable to escape, but then he pins it to a post so that he can't actually escape. And with that, the group continues to go on its search to actually figure out what exactly Yoshihiro Kira was guarding, if he if he was willing to to expose himself as a stand user and ju and a menace the Joestar group. Um, and the, and while they're and while they're searching, he actually begins to come up with a Yoshihiro Kira begins to come up with a plan on how to actually escape the confines of his photograph since he can't currently get out, but. Um, and then, and then tries to trick, trick Koichi into Yokoyasu into letting him out because, as it turns out, as he's, or at least as he states, he can't breathe inside the photograph. Um, which, which Yokoyasu points out immediately is, is probably a ruse since, as it turns out, since he's pretty sure that ghosts can't breathe. And although Koichi is a little bit more sympathetic since he has claustrophobia and knows how it feels. So, he, so he could, so, so it's kind of a bit of a back and forth between them, but... Yoshi, but eventually, Okiyasu decides to actually kind of, sort of, maybe, well, except not really, in, get allow for um to salt to help with um Yoshihiro's request and takes a bunch of and takes more thumbtacks out of the drawer and then pins him all the way down so that he can't actually move at all. Um, all, and then, ho however, he inadvertently inadvertently lets Yoshihiro Kira know that he's actually pinned to a post at the moment. Um, and Yoshihiro Kira begins to come up with a plan and realizes that he can actually use that to escape. And then and then says that he and then basically tells him that he's leaving and that he's going to going to going to escape now. Um, 
At which point, Yokoyasu and, Ko and Kochi notably, pa notably panic because they can no longer get a response out of the photograph and realize that Yoshihiro Kiro might most likely have has escaped. Um, so they tell, so they immediately come to Jotaro and tell him that what happened. Um, at which point, Jotaro rips the rips the photo off the wall and opens it to to investigate to see if Yoshihiro Kiro has indeed escaped. Um, and as it turned out, he didn't, but that he actually tricked the Joestar group into letting him go so that he could actually escape, and then he proceeds to go through, to escape through the house to, fu to find the thing that they're trying to find. Um, at which point, jo at which point, Josuke actually finds out, finds out what it is that Yoshihiro Kira was guarding. As it turns out, there's a second bow and arrow in Yoshihiro Kira's house, and that was the thing that Yoshihiro Kira didn't want them to find. Um, at which point, jo at which point, Jojo shows up, tells them that he, Tells them that um, Yoshihiro Kira is has escaped and is likely going to go af after the bow and arrow. Um, and sure enough, he does. St wipes the bow and arrow into, into, pulls it into the photograph, and then escapes on a bird. So yeah, he escapes. So yeah, he escapes on the on a little on a little bird, and they're unable to catch him because he quickly gets out of range of Koichi's um, echoes and is unable to actually and they're unable to actually catch him. At which point, Jojo re reveals that his theories regarding the bow and arrow and where he thinks it came from. Um, uh, at least ac according to jo according to Jotaro, and this is supported by the by evidence in part three. But as Jotaro point as Jotaro explains, um, and, and as he feels is is po is a possible theory, it, it's possible as he points out. Um, if originally Enya had had the bow and arrow, which we already knew. Um, and it's entirely possible that she, that she had sev that she had several more that they don't know about. And that these and that all of these bow, bow and arrow, bows and arrows they just kind of got scattered to the winds because Enya got rid of and got rid of them at some point and gave them to a bunch of different people to actually create stand users for Dio's army, which is supported by the fact that sh that he kind of that he was able to amass quite a bit, quite an army of stand users very quickly. So it's kind of it's definitely supported in theory by what they by what's already been established, but. But as it turn, but as it turns out, it's possible. In addition to Keisho Nijimura having one, it's possible that Yoshikage Kira had one as well. And and sure enough, Yoshi, Yoshihiro Kira even reveals once he once he's out of earshot of the rest of the Joestar group that the that the that the bow and arrow was indeed responsible for Killer Queen and possibly Adam Heartfather. I uh, it's not entire. It's never been stated. It's not exactly stated outright, but it's possible that it was also res responsible for Yoshihiro's own stand as well. Although. It's also possible that he may have he may have gained the stand after death and was able to use it that way, but we honestly have no idea how we, how Adam Hartfather is supposed to work. So, yeah, and also and and also I shouldn't I shouldn't mention this because I didn't bring it up, but Jojo actually smashed the camera that Adam Hartfather was bound to. So now Yoshihiro Kira is just kind of trapped in one photograph forever and unable to actually escape. So, so that least, so at the very least they know he can't escape the photograph and get and torment anybody else with his stand, but. He also remarks that he's going to use the stand, use the bow and arrow to make more enemies for them, which means and since stand users are drawn to other stand users, they realize they're eventually going to have to fight the enemies that that Yoshihiro Kira creates with his bow, with his newly acquired bow and arrow. So that's going to wind up be, most likely going to wind up being a recurring plot point throughout the rest of the season. But but they realize but they re, but as it turns out, we do actually know what happened to um, Yoshikage Kira. So. In the at the beginning of the episode, and more so at the end of the episode, um, um, specifically Yoshihiro Kira remarks what happened to his son, pointing out that he has no idea where he is and when and if he's going to come home, um, and and also points out that he needs to protect his son because he's his one and only, and he needs to make sure that the Ki that the Kira family remains alive and well. Um, but we do find out it's so somewhat toward the beginning of the episode, and more specific explicitly at the end of it that uh. Yoshi, that we actually meet um, Shinaru Kawajiri, and uh, well, we also meet her. We also meet our son Hayato, who isn't really a major character in this episode. He just kind of appears for a little bit and then leaves. We never, and we don't really get to see much of his personality. But, but it's good. But he, but it, um, it's clear from the way Shin, Shinaru re remarks about her son, about her, um, uh, what is it, husband? It's clear by the way she talks about her husband that she is not happy in her marriage. She. Does not like Kosak Kosaku at all, um, and we don't really know, and we don't really know much about him because I'll get to that in a minute. But but we but we learned from from his wife Shinoru that he was kind of boring. He wasn't he didn't really stand out. He was he she initially married him because he was cool, and then wound up being married, staying married to him out of for Hayato's sake. Um, 
Although she points out that eventually the spark that started their marriage just kind of wore thin, and she and now she just kind of resents her husband because he does not really. He it's not that he's a bad man; it's just that he's not very uh, interesting as a husband. Um, at which point, at which point, Kasaku comes home, and she remarks that he's most likely going to make his make make dinner and eat by himself as always. But as it turns out, no. Um, we quickly find out we quickly find out that something is different about Kasaku. Um, he's quit. He's not first and foremost. He makes dinner, which is something that Shinoro remarks he never does. Um, and th and then after he's done after he's done making making dinner dinner, all the remarkably remark notably to Morio Town Radio. Um, he then he then takes a break from from it to trim his nails, and then you and that's when the reveal happens. As it turns out, Yoshikage Kira replaced Kosaku. And Kosaku, and now is taking, stealing his identi identity and pretending to be Kosaku Ka Ka Kawajiri. So, yeah. And also, and then he also, and then they also notice, notice something else that Kosaku lo uh, unintentionally locks the door that the cat likes to climb out of. Um, and well, when he went to go make, do his shower. Um, and Shinoru confronts him on it. And it's evident that the cat, the cat's smart. The cat quickly figures out that this isn't dad. It quickly figures out that this is in, not indeed Kosaku, um, although K although um, Kosaku quickly turns off the shower and remarks that it's likely that it's likely because the cat is afraid of water, um, which is a which is a convenient lie, but one that one that convinces Shinoda you know, that, that that everything is fine. At which point the landlord comes over demanding rent. So and. And while and while Shinoru is very open about the fact that that Kasaku only is the only one who knows the combination to the safe and that he'll he'll have to go get the money out of it, um, cause, um, Ko, 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 Yoshikage Kira doesn't know the combi combination to the safe because he's not Kasaku. So what he does instead is he strikes up small talk with the with the landlord, swipes some of his money with Killer Queen, and then pays him with that. Um, and Sh and Shinoru quickly picks up on the fact that that um. Kosaku likely stole the money from the landlord and paid him with his own money. So, and and Kosa and likely the landlord isn't going to figure that out anytime soon. But, um, and, and by her own admission, she has finally developed feelings again. She bas basically because she fell, fell in love with Yoshikage Hira as Kosaku Kawajiri. She now fell in love with Kosaku again, even though it's not Kosaku. So, yeah. Basically, long story short, is that uh, we have a new, we have a new antagonist who's going to be ta sort of taking over um, Yoshikage Kira's stead because he's now well, basically, well, basically Yoshikage Kira has now is now playing the identity theft and pretending to be somebody else, which means that the Joestar group likely isn't going to find him anytime soon. Um, but now, but now his father Yoshihiro Kira is involved and he's likely going to make more stand and he's by his own admission going to make more stand users to actually fight against the against the rest of the Joestar group with. So. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where they're going to have to face off against stand users again to try to try and get close to um, Yoshikage Hira, um, and maybe find find out some more information regarding him and where he went. So, uh, even though we as an audience know where, what where he went and what happened to him, but the rest of the group doesn't. So they're eventually going to have to figure that out. But in any case, yeah. That's going to be my review of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. What did you guys think? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord server, link in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. If you want to help support the show and want to see me more make more high-budget stuff, then, a Patreon, then my Patreon is the best way to help me do that. And also, if you want to see more stuff from me, then be sure to check out either video linked in the end screen. The top video is the most recent video. It may or may not be this. And the bottom video is the video most recommended to you based on YouTube's algorithm. So if you want to see more, more videos based on what you already like, then be sure to check the bottom one out. But in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!